This episode of Making a Chef is brought to you by Broadcast Media Group is a full-service production company with a team of storytellers who create commercials, promos, web-based videos, and more. For more information about Broadcast Media Group, go to www.getbmg.com or call 662-324-2489. Video Magic One transfers home videos, tapes, and photos into DVD, CD, or digital files. For more information, go to www.videomagicone.com or call 662-320-9344. Hey Jake, what you doing? Hey Mark, uh, just eating some Pop-Tarts. I can see that. You want one? Sure, I'll try a bite. Yeah, try a little bit. Mm. They are very good. They're pretty good, but you know, I, I think you could probably make something a little better. I'm honored, Jake, I really am, but baking's not exactly my strong suit. But I think I might know someone who can help us out. Who are you winking at? Don't worry about it. Today, we're back in the kitchen and it's all about baking. To start it off, we're having Michelle Tehan, a local biscuit connoisseur, show me how she makes her pie crust and we're gonna transform that pie crust into awesome Pop-Tarts. Miss Michelle, thanks for coming in today. Thank you for having me. I'm really excited for this recipe. Before we go there, can you tell me a little bit about your baking story? Baking for me started with my grandmother. Her dad was a local baker in mm -hmm. West Point, Mississippi. She would go in there every afternoon after school, that's where she would go yeah. to his bakery. Uh -huh. And so sitting on my grandmother's counter, I would always get to pour the buttermilk. It was my absolute favorite. Yeah. That's sort of where it all got started for me. And it wasn't until I was an adult, married with children, working with friends that I realized not everybody knows how to do yeah. this stuff. Mm -hmm. It was just second nature to me and <laughs> it's not for everybody. Yeah, me included. How did this evolve into starting your own business? So that is a little bit of a wild story. We have triplets and we have okay. a, a younger son. That's, that's a lot. It is such a <laughs> lot. I kid you not, they go through like 100 popsicles a week. <laughs> so could you imagine what my grocery bill was like then? Pop, excuse them, popsicles or like the bread and butter of some. Exactly, if they're gonna eat 100 of anything, I'd rather it be yeah. popsicles. So I really needed to find a way to fit all of that into our budget. What I knew from everybody around me at work was not everybody knew how to make biscuits. Yes. I'm not a super crafty person, <laughs> but I can bake, which later led me to our local community market, mm -hmm. but the market closed. Yeah. yeah. And people would continue to ask me about biscuits. Later, my aunt actually suggested, why don't you make like a cinnamon sugar biscuit? Mm -hmm. So I started playing with the recipe that was just a normal, it wasn't even a recipe, it was just something I could replicate. Yeah. So I started playing with that and I ended up developing over a hundred different Biscuit, 100? over a hundred. It really sort of developed mm -hmm. with the community. Different customers or friends and family would offer suggestions mm -hmm. and why don't you do this? And I was able to do a Kickstarter. At the time, it was the largest food-based Kickstarter in the state of Mississippi. Truly wow. amazing. That's so cool. that's very cool. It was a community of customers and friends and family who helped us open that shop. It's just been a really neat adventure. And I have since moved on. We yeah. have sold that shop. But, you know, I still bake and yeah. I love it. Some people drink wine, I bake. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at all these ingredients and pie doughs in my mind, so. I'm so excited to make pie crust with you. We have two <laughs> cups of flour and we were almost going to use a mixer. Yes, but almost. Do we, we were almost going to use a mixer. Well, but to my defense, I thought we were going to use the mixer, so I pulled out a mixer, okay, and then I got a I'll never pull out a mixer. No, don't, because really you don't need all that. Mm -hmm. You can do this with just a few tools. Yeah. So what we're going to actually end up with today is Pop-Tarts, right? I love Pop-Tarts. 
so excited. So typically, if I were making a pie, I would do two teaspoons of sugar mm -hmm. and one of salt. Okay. We're gonna flip flop that for pop tarts. Okay. So we've got our two cups of flour, about two teaspoons of salt. I eyeball everything. I, I do too, and that looks like a pretty accurate measurement, so I approve of that. Yeah, I'm pretty slick with that. <laughs> there we go. Teaspoon of sugar. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that and mix it in just a little bit. So I also then I do two tablespoons of, Shortening. well that looks really about one and a half, which is totally fine. That shortening is going to help make this super flaky. Mm -hmm. It's gonna give it just that extra little bit of fat mm -hmm. content that yeah. it needs and to be able to make that crust super, super flaky. So do you know why it, the shortening makes it flaky? I actually don't. I know I need it yeah. and I can tell a difference when I don't have it, mm -hmm. but no, I mean, I really don't. So from, I have very limited experience with, you know, pie, pie crust and all, but I do know a little bit of the science. So butter melts at room temperature. That's why okay. you have room temperature butter. You put it in buttercream, you cream it so easily while shortening doesn't. So in the oven, the butter melts and it makes it a very soft pie dough. But when you cut in the shortening, it stays solid and it melts a whole lot slower, so it gives it those layers. From what I understand, my science might be a little bad behind it, so don't quote me on no, it. No, but that's amazing. But it really actually makes a lot mm -hmm. of sense. Yeah. So we're going to grate it I love it. In it. There? So, yes, in the kitchen at the shop, mm -hmm. I had a guy who I did not know, Robert St. John. Ah, yeah, Robert mm -hmm. St. John. Quite the chef. I didn't know who he was um, until he introduced himself, and then I was a little bit taken back. Yeah. Like, well, uh -huh. welcome into my kitchen. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Glad to have you here. So here I was one day cubing up all of this butter, mm -hmm. and he literally came right around the corner and he stood right next to me, and he said, "Michelle, do you have a grater?" And I thought. <laughs> I'm not grating cheese. Right. What am I gonna do, right? This is fun. It was great. So I am grating in this butter. It is a full stick of butter. That's a lot of butter. It is. So have you ever cut yourself on a grater? Okay. Yes. Have you? I, I've done it <gasps> once, but I haven't done it bad yet. It is devastating. Yes, it hurts. It truly is devastating. And it doesn't get your knuckles like you would think. Uh -huh. It gets the tip yes, of your fingers. Yes, that's it the is. worst. The softest part too. It's painful. Yes. And it's never going back. And then what do you do with that? Yes. Be careful around graders, guys. If do. you have a guard, use the guard. Use the guard. So I'm working this in and I'm literally, I have a grip on this board. Yeah. Do you know what kind of butter I used? Well, it's red. It's probably unsalted. There you go, unsalted. So I never buy salted butter. I want to control mm -hmm. how much salt is yeah. actually going to be here. You can add more, mm -hmm. but you can't take yeah. it away. Yeah. So start with unsalted. But I'm getting this all worked in, mm -hmm. and you want it to work in until you can just feel, it's not, um, feel that. So it's super lumpy, yeah. clumpy, but you can feel that it's throughout the entire, uh -huh. you're not picking up any handfuls of just flour. Yeah. So the next thing we need is ice water. Eyeballing. We are eyeballing okay. because we are in the South. Yeah. Humidity, Humidity and moisture mm -hmm. is an issue. Mm -hmm. So ice water, we want to keep it cold because we want our... We want our fat to stay cold. We sure do. So I'm going to start adding just a little bit at a time. So I do use a little bit of water at a time, but this is where you're not going to like me a whole lot. Um, <laughs> I use a food processor. I used to do it by <gasps> hand. Well, I used to do it by hand when I used to only do a couple pies at a time, but then I started doing like, you know, seven, eight pies at a time and I had to... Do you know out. how many biscuits I would make on a game day weekend? <sighs> You're a professional. You wake up at 3 a.m. Thousands and thousands <laughs> and thousands upon thousands. <laughs> Hold on, pause. Okay, I'm, I'm so sorry. I would do it myself. I would do it myself. Yes, I had a team of people working with me, but they would sort of be my finishers. And I literally did everything by hand because I just don't think that there is a comparison. There's not, there's not. Welcome God. to Making a Chef, hosted by Michelle Tehan. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I'm gonna <laughs> not cut you any slack at all because I can guarantee you my grandmother didn't start with a yeah. mixer. Right? I Yeah, makes, makes sense, yeah. makes sense. So I just keep on, I keep working and working. It really is totally fine if ice falls in there. So what are you looking for at this point? I'm looking for everything to pull away from the bowl and it start becoming just one big lump okay. in the middle. Okay, so that that's it. I mean, everything is really pulling away. Mm -hmm. Now I sort of knead it just a little bit. 
just to bring it together. Okay. That's it. So now we want to take this, okay. saran wrap it, and I'm going to put it in the fridge for a couple of hours just so it won't be so sticky to work yeah. with. So can you overwork this pie dough? I think you can. You definitely want to keep your yeah. hands out of it as much as possible. Okay. Good question. So we're going to put this wrapped in saran wrap in the mm -hmm. fridge for about two, three hours? Yeah. Okay. It works. Sounds good. I'm really excited to see your rolling skills. So we have allowed this to cool for a mm -hmm. couple of hours. It's good and firm. I mean, you wanna be able to roll yeah. out this dough without it completely falling apart. So I sprinkle, just lightly dust it, do your thing. I wanna watch you roll this dough. I can roll a little bit. What you're wanting is to roll this out super, super thin, okay. like, like pie crust. Yeah. So those arm skills, there you go. Yes, you are getting there so much faster than I can. Thank you. I yes. Do, I probably roll out my dough a little more uh, vigorously and But hard I than love I that because nothing's melting. That's okay because you know what? We're going to end up cutting this down into squares and then we might want to, or do you want to do rectangles? I want to do whatever you want to do. <laughs> this is your show now. I love I'm, it. I'm retiring after this episode. It's over. <laughs> Welcome to making. Making a Michelle. Making the shell. <laughs> yes, there you go. It's looking good. So I really think at this point, that's a really good consistency. So from here, I sort of go through and I make myself, I use a butter knife, mm -hmm. super simple. And I just go through. So you could actually use a pizza cutter. Okay. You could use a sharper knife, whatever you like. Mm -hmm. Here, if you'll get those for me. Yes, ma'am. And Let then, me see. I don't want to mess up, so I want to measure it. Oh, I love that. Good job. Quite intimidated. <laughs> You're a real professional we have on the show. Quit. You got this. I'm not wasting any of the scraps because mm -hmm. I actually go back to that. Yeah, you can the goal is to get as many as you possibly can. Mm -hmm. Just grab that out of the way, stack it up. And I also don't worry about the shape because we're going to roll this out even thinner. Okay. How great is that? To get a really good crispy crust for mm -hmm. these Pop-Tarts, you want it as thin as possible. Yeah. So now we have our squares. I sort of dust a little in between. I call them squares. They're rectangles. Yeah, they're all you're, you're with me. All right, let's leave these two. We want to roll this out pretty thin. And I'm really excited about your jam. Thank you. It is. Aged, it is about a year old at this point, and so it should be quite delicious by now. Yes. Okay, so that one is completely ready. I mean, that is pretty. That's pretty thin. This is pretty thin, but you do, you need see, it pretty can thin. See the light through it. You can see the light through it. You can see the light. That's pretty fabulous. There you go. That's what you're looking for. So go ahead and get me. There you go. So, about how many Pop Tarts do you think you made in your baking career? Oh my God. There's no telling. There's no telling? There, there really and truly is no telling. But because I don't cut any corners, mm -hmm. Pop-Tarts was something, it was sort of a, it was a special treat yeah. to have at the shop. Yeah. And we would do about a dozen of whatever flavor we were going to do. And again, when we were done, we were done. You, yeah. So tell me about this jam because it smells amazing. Thank you. So my mom and I, we got about two flats of local strawberries last year. So we had all these strawberries and we weren't eating them quick enough. So I said, let's make jam. So we whipped up a little batch of jam. This is probably some of the best jam I've ever made. I'm really excited Thank you. to have this with these pop tarts. Thank you. So I have a little bit of water. I'm going to take one egg and make us a quick little egg wash. This is gonna be our glue. Okay. Super, super simple. So one of the things we're gonna start with is just a spoonful of jam. Okay. I learned the hard way to not overfill them. Yeah. <laughs> you know how amazing it's going to be, and so you think, I need more of that. Mm -hmm. But you don't. You just want to fill the middle here, and I'm sure to leave a good edge. Okay. We're gonna trim that, but I want my egg wash, and I'm going to, you could also use your fingers. Yeah. This is one luxury that I think is worth. Yeah, like, a pastry brush you do use a lot, especially yes. in baking. I mean, you do. So this is the luxury. I don't worry if I get it too close, but what I did learn is if your jam gets mm -hmm. out here in your egg wash, mm -hmm. it just doesn't stick like it needs okay. to. So put it over to the top. 
and just use your fingers sort of lightly. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna crimp it with the we fork. We are going to crimp it with the fork. This is my absolute favorite part. Get a little flour if you need to. And then we're gonna trim all of the excess. Crimp that bottom for me. Yes, ma'am. So what's the most biscuits you've made in one day? 5,700. 57, what game was it? Oh, okay. So this was the Auburn Mississippi State game. I remember that game. Yes, everybody remembers that game. Uh -huh. We won that game, which actually the very next day, mm -hmm. Sunday, got us to number one. one. Uh huh. It was truly the atmosphere was absolutely amazing. Yeah. And I stopped at 57. It was just a little over 5,700, mm -hmm. but I stopped because my elbows and my arms <laughs> probably cramping up. Yes, and so I would also cut every single biscuit by uh -huh. hand, and I just couldn't do anymore. Yeah. And there was not an amount of money that I could have made that day that would have kept me going. <laughs> 5,700. Isn't that wild? I can't even count that high. So Am we're I? trimming off the excess right now. Okay. That's all we're doing. I'm just cutting our little pop tart down, and really, after a while, you sort of get yourself a little system. Mm -hmm. But I always work one Pop-Tart at a time. Okay. Okay, so there we go. This one is ready. We're going to put these in a 400 degree preheated okay. oven and we're gonna bake them until they're golden brown. Can't wait. All right, so you ready? Yes, we gotta make some more. What other things do you think would be really, really yum? <sighs> Chocolate chips. I, yes, but you know what? Chocolate burns really fast. It does burn. Any sort of jam filling has mm -hmm. been really good. Red plum is, that's been yeah. my absolute favorite. Even cream cheese and the mm -hmm. consistency has got to be right with that. Yeah. So I've really just stuck with James, but any kind of jam would work. Mm -hmm. You just want to make sure you're only using that spoonful. Yeah. Okay, so see, look at there. We could even go ahead and cut this in yeah. half and we've got two right there. Mm -hmm. There you go. Beautiful, perfect. Spoonful, spread it out. Mm -hmm. Leave yourself some room on that edge. There you go. Got your egg wash. Egg wash that. It's all on you, man. It's almost therapeutic. I mean, you're yes. just going through a system, you get focused, and you really can knock them out a lot mm -hmm. faster than you think you can. Okay, see how flexible it is? Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's very forgiving. Yeah. There you go. So then we crimp it? Crimp away. You wanna be sure, exactly. Don't go all the way through. You just wanna close it up. Mm -hmm. So, we have a little melted butter here. Again, <laughs> unsalted. Unsalted. Okay, and I am just generously covering these with butter. Okay, and then in each one, you know I told you we are going to, I do three little holes. One, two, three. And all I do is go through that first layer. Mm -hmm. And can you see the air? Yeah. You can literally see it already trying yeah. to say, get up out of there. There we go. All right. Perfect. So we're gonna bake these at 400 degrees until golden brown. Awesome. I don't even know how long that is. <laughs> so not everybody is gonna do all the stuff that we just did. Yeah. So we need a quick version. Mm -hmm. You could buy store-bought pie crust. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Or you could buy puff pastry. Puff pastry is a step up from store-bought pie crust. It really is. This is one thing I do buy and I don't make at home. Because, because the time consuming, all those things, the layers, mm -hmm. whew. But this is such a treat to be able yes, to do and the is. crust is going to be spot on mm -hmm. every single time. Yeah. I'm not gonna roll it out, but I am gonna sort of get these seams. Okay together. Yeah. You know, get mm -hmm. it back to all one. So for people out there who don't know, the reason why we buy store-bought puff pastry is because puff pastry is a layered dough. So that means it has layers of butter, dough, butter, dough. Yeah, so. So time consuming. It is very time consuming. I've made it once, it didn't work at all. So when we buy store-bought puff pastry, it is so much quicker. There's really not much difference in the taste. No. So I'm cutting this. So one sheet, you're going to get two Pop-Tarts. So this is a lot simpler and much quicker. So much faster. Mm -hmm, it is. Right? The, will the flavor be as good? Um, I love the crusty edge mm -hmm. and the sort of organic shapes yeah. of just being able to make your own with pie crust. Well, I can eat your pie crust raw. Off camera, guys, I've been just picking at the pie crust. Picking at the dough. Oh yeah, it is good. So we're just gonna egg wash these. Do you wanna crimp away? 
I'll try my You seem to me. love the crimping. The crimping is fun. This is a sure thing every mm -hmm. time. Yes. They're always going to be perfect. Can't mess this up. So you mentioned how you have kids. So what are their favorite flavors of Pop-Tarts? Again, the red plum. They love a strawberry. Yeah. But still, if they have spend the night company on a Friday night, yeah. Saturday morning, they want biscuits. Yeah. That's what they're going for. The biscuits. You're so kind. I want to eat the entire jar of jam. Thank you. It tastes like summer. Uh, that's what I was going for. It really did. It tastes like summer. Gorgeous. So we're going to brush these down with butter again? We are going to brush these beauties down with butter. Butter on butter. That's what I like. So can you imagine how crispy these yes, are going these to be? these are going to be insane. Pro tip, mm -hmm. with the puff pastry, I'm not dousing the edges with butter okay. like I did the pie crust because these edges will totally burn. Mm -hmm. So just a slight brushing will be more than enough. So the three holes? You need three holes. And again, not all the way through. Yeah. You did exactly, yep. So, same oven. Same oven, 400 degrees. Same time. Golden brown. Okay, so what are we gonna top these Pop-Tarts with? You gotta have some kind of icing or frosting. It's the only way to do it. Mm -hmm. So we got a little powdered sugar. And again, your forks. I love a fork. I love a fork. I mean, there's just not much you can't do with a bowl and fork. Mm -hmm. Get as many of the clumps. So I think that's great. And once again, with this stuff, a little bit at a time. A little bit goes a long way. It does. So. Ooh, that noise. Ugh. You don't love that? No. Does that make your heart happy? All right, give me a little more. So why do you use milk over water? I think the flavor, really. Yeah. You, I mean, you you definitely could use water. Mm -hmm. I know you think if you had your mixer, this would already be done. Oh my god, I do this by hand. Good. Okay, okay I'll cut you some slack I, on that. Again, I, I was that. under the impression that we were using a mixer. So I'm sorry, I set up a mixer for you. I didn't mean to offend you. Old school. I don't. Back need, to the basics. I'm sorry. Just take my show already. There we go. I love it. That's good. I can see this one did bust a little bit. Hurts my heart though. I know, that was yours. Yeah. It's totally fine because it's all about trial and error. Mm -hmm. And what you need to know is this is not what the jam actually looks yeah. like on the inside. It's still going to be mm -hmm. exactly as it needs to be. I love, you can see guys, the color on the bottom of the crust is actually like cooked all the way through. It's not white and undercooked. So icing. While they're warm. While they're warm. I'm ready right. for this. This is the good stuff. Mm -hmm. You could get really fun with this. Mm -hmm. You could add a little food coloring. Yeah. You could add sprinkles. You could add mini chocolate chips at this point. That's what I'm talking about. You could take it and you could drizzle back and forth. Are you making fun of my drizzle? We can just pour it on, you know? Oh, yes, we could do that too. And it's okay if it's puffed up just a little. That's totally fine. These are not store bought. You can already see how as these are cooling together. They're setting, yeah. It is really getting a nice shell. Mm -hmm. Totally different. Mm -hmm. So sometimes depending on how those holes are put to begin with, they're gonna puff up on you. Mm -hmm. It's a puff pastry. That's what they call it, puff it's pastry. It's totally fine. Mm -hmm. It's not that big of a deal. They're so crispy, they're just like falling apart as I'm brushing them. The butter. Yeah. I mean, they are insanely flaky. Drizzle it. Yeah, we might Just have to, drizzle. We might have to drizzle away. Mm. These look delicious. I'm ready to try one. Smell so they good. Smell delicious. So which one do you want to try first? Either one. I just need some of that buttery crust. Yes. Yeah, so let's try yours first. Okay. Let's With the pack crust. Mm. Ready? Oh my I gosh. I got the big Mmm. Mmm. It's so good. That salt really makes a difference right there. It's not too sweet. The salt balances it out. It's crispy, which is very, very important. That's the um, game. I'm really excited about this one. Oh, we could just pull that apart. It's so fine. Mm. 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 Which one do you like better? I'm at a loss of words right now. That is dreamy. That is amazing. I think my favorite Probably yours. You love the pie crust. I like oh, pie that makes crust. my heart happy. It is happy. delicious. So I'm so used to the pie crust mm -hmm. that I'm like, give me all this puff pastry. Well, thank you so much for coming. Teach me how to make this pie crust and you know, sharing your secrets with the world. Thank you so much for having me. I've so enjoyed it.
gonna give it just that extra little bit of fat mm -hmm. content that yeah. it needs and to be able to make that crust super, super flaky. Do you know why it makes it flaky by any chance? No? Mm. Well, <laughs> so, <laughs> that's the first time I've been cussed at on camera. High five, I'm two for two. I won't ask you again. I won't, I won't make you. I won't cuss you. No, no I'll, make I'll me make... look dumb. Let's okay. go. I need okay. to learn something. This is your show, not All mine. Right. Let's go.